Close your eyes, focus on the breath. Try to give your full awareness to the breathing, all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. Don't let there be any gaps. Don't let there be any wandering off. If you do catch the mind wandering off, just bring it right back. You want to give your full attention to this because you're developing good qualities of mind. You're developing the word there, quality, is important, because quality is more important than quantity. Another year has passed. And the question is, okay, what was the quality of the year that passed? As the Buddha said, a person who lives a hundred years has no match for someone who is virtuous for one day. If that person who's lived for a hundred years hasn't been virtuous at all, one day of virtue is, is more to be praised. One day of concentration, one day of insight is more to be praised than a hundred years without concentration, a hundred years without insight. So here we are making our lives noble by developing these good qualities in mind. Because this is what makes life worthwhile, is the quality. Whether life is long or short is not, the, is not the issue. It's the quality that you bring, the quality of awareness, the quality of compassion, the, all the good qualities you bring to the mind. Those are the things that make life worthwhile. After all, this is a human birth we've got. And so you want to make, take advantage of that fact. The Pali word for human being, manusa, means a person with a heightened mind, higher than ordinary animals. And it's heightened because of the good qualities. It's because of our wisdom. It's because of our compassion that we are higher than animals. And so we want to make sure that we develop those qualities as much as we can. This is why we meditate. This is why we train the mind in general with virtue, generosity, meditation. All these things are things that give quality to life, give meaning to life. Because without them, what is it? We're just eating and breathing and sleeping and then dying. That's it. And then getting born again and over and over and over again. The question is, what do you have to show for it? As the Buddha said, for most people it's simply like tossing a stick up into the air. Sometimes it lands on this end, sometimes it lands on that end, sometimes it lands splat in the middle. And nothing really gets accomplished. But if you make your mind up your mind, you want to develop something really good in life, you want to really accomplish something in life, you have to start with training the mind. Because it's the quality of the mind that determines the quality of the accomplishments you're going to have. So make sure that you focus more on quality than on quantity. If you take the precepts, really observe the precepts. If you want to decide you want to get the mind concentrated, really focus on the concentration. If you want to develop insight, start asking yourself the questions that lead to insight. Why is it that when I say something or do something or think something, I want it to lead to happiness, but so many times it doesn't? Why is that? You want to look into that. Is there something wrong with the intention? Is there something wrong with the execution of the action? That's how insight develops. These are things that are all right next to you. It's nothing that you have to be rich, you don't have to be born into a wealthy family or a powerful family. You don't have to be famous. All you have to do is just look really carefully at what you've already got and make the most of what you've got. And that's how life becomes a life that really has meaning, really has value. So it takes some time out to develop qualities in mind, so the mind really does have quality, and not just quantity. That your life has quality, not just quantity. That's the way true happiness is found. It doesn't, it doesn't come floating our way. It's not given to us by anybody else. It's what we develop by building up our own inner qualities inside. So at the end of the year and the beginning of the new year, we want to look at the quality of the year that's passed and make up our minds that we want to have a really quality year next year. So look at the qualities. Think about the qualities that you find are lacking in your life. Make your mind at least this one year. Is going to be a year of quality. That's what makes life worthwhile.